Hey guys, it's Amanda from Shaquelle and I'm here to talk to you today about Alva from Noriko. So let's just dive right in. So when I first got Alva, I really wasn't sure that I was going to like her. Mostly because I'm not a huge fan of permatease and I know that Noriko really likes to do permatease. Noriko is really good at their permatease, but I still am not a huge fan. But I put this on and I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised. So let's just first talk about the style. So as you can see, it's a really cute bob just above shoulder length. There's not a lot of layering going on in this. It's generally all just one length. The only time we do see layering is in the front to kind of frame the face. Other than that, it's got, um, instead of making a blunt cut, it has really nice kind of feathery ends that kind of make it look a little bit choppy at the end. It has these really sweet bangs that you won't need to do any thinning to it. They're already pretty thin. And the really cool thing about this style is that it has almost an undercut going on. So these pieces in front that frame the face are meant to kind of come forward over top of the bang. So if I pull them back, it's going to reveal even more bang underneath which makes it really cool for if you want to do a bit of a, a style off the face kind of like this. So let me go back and talk about the permatease. So as I was saying earlier, Noriko has kind of perfected their permatease, which is amazing. So with theirs, it kind of, it starts around here and fills in this whole area up top. They have a lot of permatease going on at the top and as it goes down, it kind of slowly tapers off so that it blends really nicely and doesn't give you that kind of boxy head look. I find that a lot of people either really love permatease or they just don't love it. And I'm generally the person that does not love it so much, but I feel like I can kind of get on board for this one if I, you know, pushed it down just a little bit. If you're someone who really loves the volume though, that's awesome. And with this, you can even ruffle your fingers through it more and it's gonna give it even more body. So look at that, how exciting. So let me talk quickly about the color we have here. I'm wearing the color Creamy Toffee. So Creamy Toffee is sort of a medium blonde mixed with some sort of platinum blonde highlights going on in here and it has a medium to dark brown uh, rooting. This is a synthetic piece but just note that in this video you do see quite a bit of shine. I am using a ring light right now so it is reflecting a bit. In real life I promise it's it's not this shiny. <laughs> I find that the rooting on this wig does a really good job with hiding the fact that this is not a monofilament top. So the rooting mixed with the permatease kind of disguises that and makes it look a little bit more natural than what you would think. I personally would still prefer a monofilament top just for any wig I have, but know that if there is no monofilament top, it does bring the cost down a bit. So let's just go and talk about the cap construction on this one. So this is just a traditional cap. So when I say traditional cap, I mean there is no lace front. So this is not a wig you'd want to style off your face. However, for this one, I think it is completely fine that there is no lace front just because you have the bang in front hiding that hard front. So really, you wouldn't need to spend the extra money to have a lace front on this. So don't worry that there's no lace front, it's okay. There is no monofilament top, so this section here is where all the permatease is going on, and it's all just kind of sewn on top, machine sewn. Uh, traditional cap also means that it's a wefted back. So a wefted back means that the hair is all sewn on into rows, and in these ones you can stick your fingers through it, and it creates kind of a more airy, breezy feel. Uh, this cap also has uh, adjustable ear tabs on the side here for you to grab to adjust your wigs and it has adjustable straps at the bottom. I feel like Noriko has done a really good job at kind of perfecting their traditional cap. Um, this is just a really well-made, um, sturdy 
and comfortable cap. So you really can't go wrong with a traditional cap from Mariko. Hopefully you found this review a little bit helpful. Um, I've put all of the information about this wig in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. You can find this wig on our website at chiquelle.ca or chiquelle.com.au. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.